In this show, I'm excited to talk about why I think XRP investors are about to get a big reward for their faith. When we look back at 2021, it's clear that XRP didn't go through a boom like many other cryptocurrencies did. This was mostly because it had legal problems. But now I'm beginning to think that these legal problems are more of a trick, maybe meant to keep regular people like us from getting involved. What really makes XRP interesting is what it was created to do, especially when you think about the digital future we're moving toward. Hello, Coins Alert family. You've come to your favorite place to find out about XRP news. I need to ask for a quick favor before we get into today's great news. Show us some love if you like our work. Press the like button, sign up for our channel, and press the notification bell to join our great group. And now for some good news. As we get closer to 60,000 subscribers, we're getting ready for a big XRP gift. It's really simple to join. There are only three steps. You won't want to miss out on the information, so stay tuned. Don't forget to use the word money site in your comments if you want to be in the drawing for the prize. We all know that we're moving into a time when digitalization is important and almost everything is changing to a tokenized style. Looking into XRP's basic papers, like its white paper, shows what its main purpose is. In a world where tokenization is becoming common, this idea that XRP could be designed to handle the transfer of both money and asset-based tokens would make deals faster for not only currencies but also other assets. It's all about how well it works. Tokenization makes things a lot easier to do. A very interesting idea is XRP may be working with Stellar, which could be thought of as XRP's less flashy sister is set to become the main way that money and digital assets are sent and received. To better understand why XRP could change the way money is sent, let's look at how it affects liquidity. Moving $200 million from a Japanese bank to an American bank takes twice as much money as the original amount. This is how international transfers work right now. XRP plays a huge role in this situation. It could change how global money transfers work by making a lot of cash available. This time I'm going to talk about how XRP could change liquidity and the foreign exchange FX market. Imagine that a token like XRP makes trades possible almost instantly. This new idea could make a market much more efficient by releasing a huge amount of liquidity. Because of this speed, we've seen a lot of banks team up with Ripple. It hasn't quite made the jump to institutional usage yet though. Let's look at an example to show this. If the Tokyo branch of Bank of Mitsubishi needs to send $100 million worth of yen to its New York branch and change it into dollars, normally you'd need the same amount of money in both currencies at both places, which would tie up $200 million. However, if this deal could be connected to a cryptocurrency like XRP, the effects would be huge. Ripple's possible move to go public is another exciting development to think about. This decision is still waiting SEC approval. Notably, Ripple's victory in the case in which Judge Torres said it wasn't a security is a big step forward. Even though we don't talk about it a lot on the show, I've been investing in XRP for a long time. XRP and I have had a rough time together. During the last bull market, I got better returns on other investments while the lawsuit hurt XRP's success a lot. I also find it interesting that the XRP community sometimes shows a very intense, almost cult-like passion. There have been times when I was too enthusiastic about a project, and XRP was no different. Part of my caution comes from the thought that some of my fans may have invested because of my excitement and then lost money. But new technical analysis shows that XRP might be about to have another rise like the one it had in 2017. The way things are set up now is similar to how they were before the 2017 surge. The HVF Hunt Volatility Funnel Method has been talked about a lot on the show, and having Francis Hunt as a guest has given us a lot of useful information. He thinks that XRP will go up in value to $1.106 is a big jump from where it is now, which is about 60 cents. It could be a huge win for investors if this prediction comes true. Today's movie is meant to bring attention to what I consider to be a big chance with XRP. It may sound like an old story, but there's a strong reason to think that people who have invested in XRP are about to make a lot of money. The most important thing here is XRP's technical structure, which looks like it's following a trend similar to the one that led to its huge rise in 2017. The fact that XRP didn't reach any new highs in 2021 is actually a good sign. Getting things ready for a possible repeat of the 2017 surge. As someone who owns XRP, I agree with Francis Hunt's optimistic predictions. I've spent the last year learning his method. It's hard to miss the similarities between the trends that led up to 2017 and what's happening now. The fact that XRP could hit $16 suggests that a big event is about to happen. This might change because of a number of things, including the fact that Ripple might go public or because they recently bought back their own stock, which shows they are confident in their plan. 
I think you should add XRP to your portfolio, especially since quick liquidity is so important in today's business world. I want to recognize the frustration that many people who own XRP have felt. That's how I feel too. I think though that our waiting is about to pay off. It's about time for XRP to go on a long awaited run that could change its value and place in the cryptocurrency market. In this part of the movie, I want to talk about the idea that the SEC may have been trying to keep regular investors away from XRP because they were told to by higher ups. It's amazing that more and more banks are working with Ripple, even though they were being sued until lately. The fact that these financial companies didn't back down in the face of legal challenges shows how strong and useful XRP is. One thing that makes XRP stand out is that it is one of the few cryptocurrency that has a clear legal status, it is not a security. Because of this, XRP may be able to grow its share of the cryptocurrency market as a whole, and technical signs support this idea. Based on different predictions and comments from Ripple, 2024 looks like it will be a very important year for Ripple and XRP. It will be interesting to see how these hopes really come true. To keep a fair view, it's important to remember that. If you want to trade, I don't think you should put all of your money into XRP. As many XRP buyers learned in 2021, diversification is very important, especially in the volatile crypto market. Still, I think XRP is a good asset to add to a diverse portfolio. We hold a lot of different industries and cryptocurrencies in our own crypto portfolio. Each one serves a different purpose. We include currencies like XRP and XLM that play a big role in money transfers and sending money to other people. As we speak, the internet of value is coming together and for this new ecosystem to work well, it needs smooth transaction pathways. In this way, XRP and XLM look like they could help make this new digital market work. Do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to click the box that says subscribe. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.